this is what you can expect. So conditions are still going to be a little bit warm, a little bit muggy and breezy. Wind gusts are going to be anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour and maybe even stronger in the lower valley. And that's where we have that wind advisory in place, guys. So it is going to expire later on tonight at seven, but that doesn't mean we're in the clear for windy conditions because the rest of the weekend, you can expect those wind gusts to continue to be anywhere from 30 to 35 miles per hour. And unfortunately, since those winds are coming in from the south, it's bringing in that warm Gulf moisture. And that's exactly how we've been able to warm up these last couple of days. So again, just warm and muggy conditions, but changes on the way because we are going to have some rain activity as we head into Sunday morning. But just expect a few showers here and there, not a washout by any means. The coverage is going to be a little bit on the lower end, anywhere from a 10 to 20 percent. And then as we head into Sunday evening, dry conditions are expected. However, again, we could potentially expect some more rain chances as we head into Monday. And some rain could uh, some some of the rain that's going to filter in. It's also going to be accompanied accompanied by some storms. But the storms that filter in are just going to be general thunderstorms. However. However, we could hear some rumbles of thunder, some lightning strikes and experience some gusty winds. And that's going into Monday morning. And that's for the entire Rio Grande Valley. So don't be surprised if we do hear uh, some thunderstorms as we head into Monday. And those rain chances are going to be sticking around for Tuesday as well. But the coverage is still a little bit on the lower end. And we're still, unfortunately, going to have temperatures in the low 90s. So because we're not really going to have a washout that's not really going to cool us down and the only reason why we are getting these rain chances is because of a cold front that's going to slightly dip into the Rio Grande Valley it's not going to move completely across us so it's only going to bring in some showers and a few storms just ahead of the front so just warm muddy conditions are going to continue and the morning lows are going to be above average for this time of year we're only going to drop down to the mid and upper 70s across the Rio Grande Valley so it's going to feel very sticky very muggy and when you add the temperatures and the humidity that means the feel like temperatures are going to be a little bit higher than the actual temperatures so today we had temperatures in the 90s low 90s but it actually felt like the mid 90s just because of the humidity and the stickiness out there so again if you are planning on coming to the crawfish boil later on tonight and you're going to wear a cowboy hat make sure to hold on to your hat for tonight and for for these next couple days, so if you do have any loose decorations or loose items in your front or back lawn, make sure to just drop them down or put them away these next couple days because winds are going to continue to be a little bit on the stronger end. And if you do plan on going out to, be to the beach to get some relief from these warm and muggy conditions, just be careful, especially if you are planning on going out to the water because we do have a high risk uh, rip current in place as we head into uh, Sunday and into Monday as well. But again, we are just going to see some light showers for the next couple of days. And here's Blake.